everybody, we're back. It's Sunday, DragCon 2022. I'm Joseph Shepard. I'm sitting on some apartment 2B furniture sponsored by The Dip. And I am about to talk to the one and only Joey J. What is going or on, Are you bitch? Joey Gay today? What's that? Are you Joey Gay today? I'm Joey J, but gay, you know, it's like method acting. Yes, and yes, so you just yes. have to really play the part at all times. Do you remember when you first got reception from that Meet the Queen? With my phone? Oh. oh. <laughs> here? Yeah, that doesn't happen here. No, um, I haven't. <laughs> during, when you Meet the Queens came out for your season, yeah. you became the hottest commodity in the world. Reddit was talking over you. All of these sexy ass pictures were put up. Um, what did it feel like starting the season being the trade of the season? So I think it's so funny because growing up and going to like the gay bars, trade and what was considered being really hot and handsome was always put into this like really muscular straight acting yeah. box and it was so crazy to me to get all these compliments and I loved it because I'm like oh I think we're learning I think we're evolving we're, we're going past that I love that we are taking this sissy little gay boy and putting him in that box and just kind of replacing that. Yeah. And I just think that's so beautiful that gender is just kind of going away and yes. just how we're acting like and that we idolize that as that's what we call handsome now. And so I actually thought it was really, really cool and I'm just blessed and I love it. It probably also gave you like an incredible boost of confidence because like you it said, does. like not being the total most masculine thing in yeah. the world that was what we are all looking at. It's like, oh, okay, you know what? I've always been like really self-conscious about how feminine I am. And it just was so validating for it to be like preached and supported. And I'm yeah. like, oh, wait, we like this. This is good. So I think it just mentally, it was really healthy. It was great. Yes. Um, your hair. My question for you is the following. How do you keep it looking so good? You're, are you dyeing it all the time or are you like spraying? Like how do you always I am dyeing it. For, so for DragCon, I am definitely dyeing it. Okay. So for the first day we were platinum blonde and then the next day we were yellow and now we're orange and there's like color theory that's involved and you have to be careful. But if you have a good strategy and you do your math right, you can actually go from color to color with semi-permanent hair dyes. Wow. It, it doesn't damage the hair. Um, the only thing is, make sure your towels are dark. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the poor hotel, let me just say that. But um, I think it's cool. It's never really been done before. Mm -hmm. You can throw on a wig and then throw on another one, but we're actually dyeing it. And it's fun, because then out of drag, I can still like live my color fantasy. Yeah. But you do have to take care of it. You know, I use masks, and I'll only do like a bleaching like once every four or five weeks to get touch-ups because the last thing I need is for my shit to fall right. out. Yeah, that would be awful. But if you take care of it, and you have good people, and you do your research, it's possible. Then you're good. Yeah. So I have a bowl with a hole, and in this bowl with the hole, you're going to stick your hand in. You're going to draw out a question and read it out. All right, let's do it. Hope it's something juicy. What does the BLT stand for in a BLT sandwich? Is that what it says? <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure nobody wrote that. <laughs> no. What is your favorite moment from a drag race history? Hands down, Alyssa and Tatiana shut up and drive. Uh, that was the moment where I think I was like, I had a sexual revolution. Yeah. That was everything. It, you know, that, I, I'm going to say two of them. That moment, and then Celine Dion from Canada's Drag Race. Those two songs, at the end of the year that those lip syncs came out, became my, like, in my top five most played songs on yeah. Spotify. Because <laughs> I was like, uh, oh my God, that lip sync is iconic. I just ran over to go see Carmen Ferrala. Yeah, she's her. right next door to me. Oh my gosh, that, that is a, a woman, a beautiful motherfucking, I... Jesus Christ. I found out I was next to her and I was like, okay, fuck my drag. <laughs> <laughs> and then next to her, you have Envy. Oh, <laughs> you have God. got Holland you have, over there. You have everything. Every, yeah. It's a hot ass row. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And you know what? Trading it out. Let's all different shapes and sizes. Everything it. in the world. Um, Joey, before you go, um, I want to know from you, what are you plugging? What are you promoting? Where can people find you? What's going on? So we're at uh, booth 1859. 
on social media. It is Joey J is gay on all platforms, including Cash App and Venmo. And I'm working with Sally Beauty. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah, they. It's been a really beautiful partnership. We started working maybe eight months ago. Okay. Uh, and we've done a few events, and I thought DragCon would be like a beautiful merge. And we're running, we're running around, we're handing out a semi-permanent hair color so cool. to all the dolls. So they can color their their units, and uh, we're just promoting, and we're dolling all the dolls up. So you can come over, you can get your nails done, your Ooh. lashes done. They're doing hair. It's really cute, actually. That's so cute. Well, Joey, I love you. Thank you for stopping by my little couch and chit-chatting with yeah. me. Um, until next time, I'll keep bringing you interviews. I'm Joseph Shepard. That's Joey J. I love you, baby. You look good.